What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cap the Game, and not your average gaming channel, of course. Now today we're playing a very controversial and very old game called Manhunt made by Rockstar, the same developers of Grand Theft Auto. Now, I've never actually played this game, even when it came out many years ago on the PS2, so I'm playing it on the PCSX2 PC emulation, running it in 4K as you can see. Now this game was banned in many countries and for good reason it was extremely violent and you can see in this scene here watch this I mean look, look what it says here on the side of the wall look when he turns around I'm not gonna repeat it but you can read what it says there now the executions in this game were very graphic as you can see right about now like and this game just seems to be all about killing and doing it in the most horrific and almost not glorified but the most horrific ways you could possibly do now there are tons and tons of different weapons and items that you can use to basically kill the enemies now the game is very much based on stealth so it's not a run and gun action game where you can go in being rambo all guns blazing it's all about self hiding in the shadows like he is here and just waiting for the enemies or the rival gangs or whoever they are to be honest I have no idea what's actually going on in this story I was just really intrigued about this game and wanted to have a go for it myself to see why exactly it was banned many years ago in so many countries and why you can't actually buy this game I've not seen it anywhere even in CEX or anywhere like that um, you're about to see here in a second the stealth element of the game so just like in Metal Gear Solid you hide in the shadows you know the controls were a bit funny to play with on the emulation but you can see here hiding in the shadows not suspicious at all can't see me and then all you do is literally just creep up to him and try and do a sneak attack on him but I failed miserably here he saw me he got me so if it does fail you can go into a street brawl and just literally fight fist with fist or if you have a knife in your hand you can use that or a piece of shard of glass and just basically just batter your enemy until he's dead I mean it's very similar to GTA so it's exactly the same and you've got this guy talking to you all the time throughout the game he's almost like filming a horror action reality TV show or movie and he just wants you to go and go and be more and more extreme in what you're doing and you can imagine trying to release a game like this in 2023 with what's happening in the world and the way the world is now and all the snowflakes out there you can see why this game would never see the light of day ever again and the only way to get this game is again PS2 emulation or Xbox emulation or you know someone that's got a hard copy or we can get a hard copy from because this game will never get a remaster at all this is one of those games that Rockstar made back when they could make games that they wanted to make and it's probably now been locked away in a basement in Rockstar headquarters never ever to see the light of day or even the word of a remaster ever again now in the next clips I'm about to show you you're gonna see more of the gory kills now here I think you know, he's got a shard of glass now the game prompts you to hold the square or the X button for a more violent kill. Now if you just go up to an enemy and press the X button, he'll just stab him once and it'll be done. But if you hold the actual buttons down, it then becomes a more extreme, almost glorified the game is doing way of eliminating your enemies. Now, again, like I said, I've never ever played this game before it's my first time and let's see if I can sneak up on this guy here no couldn't do it so this sneaking up fail just go into a straight brawl with him and do a GTA style and just keep hitting them until they eventually fall on the ground and then stomp typical GTA it is now the game just keeps going on and guiding you for more and more stages and it's VCR style with the camcorder as well. Now that's the theme of the game, the camcorder style was that very raw VCR style almost not noir type of game but very 
I can't explain the the, the theme of the game. The the, the oh, what's the word called? The picture of the game. It's that sort of style of a game. But here you can see another violent kill again. Now, I think as you progress through the game and you get into more levels where there's more and more items to use, such as maybe a chainsaw, a gun, a sledgehammer, whatever it is, the kills do get more and more gory and violent as it goes. And as you can see here at the end, it, are, it gives you a scoreboard of how many gory, gory kills you've made and things like that. And yeah. I would definitely guys, say if you've never played Manhunt, you do give it a go, do give it a try. Um, I know quite a few people have played this game many, many years ago, and you know, if you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. That's, that's, that's up to you. You know, at the end of the day, it's just a game, so you know. Um, but if you've never played this game, definitely worth checking it out. Now, here we go. We're going to do another stealth fighting kill. Game with sharp glass, and it's just. Yeah, the kill gun. You can imagine if they remastered this now, how it would look now. You also get weapons, which is blue and the red. So the blue ones, like it says, they can do a bit of damage, but then you can only use them once, I think it is. Um, other weapons you can collect are the red weapons, which are a bit more heavier, a bit more slower. So you can see here, hiding in the shadows again. I'm going to creep up behind this guy, and I've got the baseball bat this time now. Gonna execute him with a baseball bat. Let's see what happens. It's all right. Yeah, a few hits. Yep, a few more hits. And a few more hits there to go. Now, this flashing light that you keep seeing on the screen—that's due to the emulator, the way it's running. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to get rid of that. I think it's a street light, and it's trying to upscale it, so it does run into a few technical issues. But nonetheless, it's completely fine. I mean. Look at this room here. You go into this room and there's some bodies just hanging there. Wow, yeah. I mean, this isn't Resident Evil or anything, but it's not on. on the, it's pretty much on the same level as Resident Evil, just a bit more, a bit more extreme, I would say. I mean, yeah. The whole point of this game is just run around and just kill gangs and enemies and hope they don't get you and make a good TV show. Here we go. Let's do one final kill cam. And yeah, with the baseball bat, bludgeon him, and then yeah, um, yeah. I played the game for about a good 20 minutes before this guy took me out, and I thought, you know what, I've had enough of this game. Um, yeah, wanted to try out. Definitely did try out again. If you want to try out, do try out on the emulation PS2 on the PC. You can upscale it to 4K, so the graphics do look pretty good compared to the original one. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more, more awesome content. Thank you all for watching.